everybody welcome back to the channel this is mtg ghoul dude and today you read the title you seen the the thumbnail so let's go on ahead and get into it i wanted to do a deck tech on a deck i've recently started playing with i've been tweaking it since i built it and i loved it ever since it's a little bit out of my comfort zone but it's a spell slinger deck that just really got my gears going because it included two of the main two of some of the cards that i really love playing and they just happen they have to be in a spell slinger deck so let's go on ahead and get into it and read what mr and hello does so mr and hello the painter or as i like to call him my corpse crafter he is a three drop one blue one black one red one three vampire assassin with death touch and he says the first instant or sorcery spell you cast for each turn has casualty two and casualty two is as you cast that spell you may target you may sacrifice a creature with power two or greater when you do you may pay you may play this copy the spell and choose new targets for the copy and his flavor text says every work of art is a hit <clears throat> so let's go on ahead and get into the deck tech so of course this is my personal list this is and I'll say it again because usually I have to say it I do play with proxies most of my proxies are just the lands like the dual lands like the the bad lands and stuff like that because I don't want to damage my own personal lands just about everything else in the deck is pretty much I have it in the deck and it's the actual card so let us get into the mana ramp we got an arcane signet as per usual per any deck a crowded crypt specifically for whenever you start to go off and uh, you start needing more zombies later on down the line all your signets your Demir signet is signet the mind stone I kind of wanted to make this deck pretty, so I used the Mind Stones and all the foils that I had. Racto Signet. Soul Ring, this is a promo. Talisman of Creativity. Uh, Talisman of Dominance. And I tried to use what original Talismans I had from previous, from like Mirrodin. Talisman of Indulgence. And Thought Vessel. Now let's get into the main theme of the deck. <clears throat> So to start out, the namesake of the deck cards are going to have to be Army of the Damned and Rise from the Tides. Both of those create tap zombies. Uh, the difference is Army of the Damned tap makes 13 tap 2-2s two all the time. And Rise from the Tides will make a tap 2-2 two two for each instant or sorcery in your graveyard. So how are we going to funnel all these instance of sorceries into our graveyards well we're gonna try and make as many other zombies up until then until we can get in hello online to sacrifice to copy army of the damned and rise from the tides so we have curse of disturbance to whenever an opponent gets attacked for zombies death baron for the pump and the lords diagraph captain for the life loss when we start going off with our uh, combo if we can't get away with just swarming the board diagraph colossus one of my pet cards i love this card to death eternal sky lord makes a 2-2 a, a, a mass token geese is bidding these are going to be some of the instance of sorceries we want to copy within hello to make more it makes a 2-2 zombie and it has madness so if you have to discard it you can play it first discard cost gleaming overseer gives our tokens Hexproof and Menace. Gravecrawler is the combo piece with uh, Phyrexian Altar and name a card in the deck. Jadar, Ghoul Caller and Ophelia, he's a good early drop. And he helps start putting a zombie on the board for in Hello. Chrome's Ludific Opus. This was a last minute include because it's a zombie, but it also flies and does it has card advantage. So this could go in the main theme or the card advantage slot. Lord of the Accursed for the pump and to give zombies menace. 
Moan of the Unhollowed makes more zombies. Murderous Rider. It uh is a spell that you can copy to sa with sacrifice in a creature within Hello, or it's just a zombie. So we have Phyrexian Altar. Like I said, goes with the Gravecrawler. Poppet Stitcher gets fueled even more because this is a instant of sorcery. Spell Slinger type deck. And then when it flips around, you got Poppet Factory turning all your 2-2s two into 3-3s. Three three, so it makes Casualty 2 a little bit easier. Prima Amulet makes all your instant sorceries one cheaper. We do have some pricey spells in here, but not a lot. Raw Storm Conduit. I didn't want to put a ton of spell copiers in here, but Raw lets you dig one deeper. It deals a damage per uh, instant of sorcery you cast. It's just a really good Planeswalker, especially with that minus two where you can copy the next spell. So if you're not, if you don't have in Hello out, you can still copy the spell without having to sacrifice the creature. Or you can use both of them in tandem which is what I was doing and you can just make a stupid amount of zombies then we have the next namesake rise from the tides stir the sands makes three two two black zombie creature tokens and vizier the scorpion it amasses one but with some of the amass other amass creatures we might be able to get away with this one just amassing a one one so going into our card advantage slot we have curate for that uh throwing the instance of sorcerers we don't need in the graveyard and drawing a card demonic tutor i do have a bunch of tutors in this deck because i do want to make sure that i have army of the damned or rise from the tides in hand factor fiction faithless looting frantic search gamble Jessica's Will for the mana in case we don't have the mana to cast Army of the Damned to Rise from the Tides because they are quite expensive. Kinder Discovery is in here basically for just to almost mill the whole library out. Mystical Tutor. Painful Truths is good in a three colored black deck. XX black deck. Just name a black deck. Because <clears throat> it allows you to draw three and lose three. Ponder, Thrill of Possibility, and Vampiric Tutor. That'll round out the card advantage. As we go to removal, we got a Braid, an Offer You Can't Refuse, Arcane Denial, Blasphemous Act, Chaos Warp, Counterspell, Damnation, Dark Salvation, Feed the Swarm, Go for the Throat. Infernal Grasp, Pact of Negation, because you know you never know when you're going to need a free counterspell, Pongify, and Wash Away. I really want. It was really hard for me to build a tribal deck as a, with a in a spell sh slinger shell because I'm used to just throwing creatures in the deck and calling it good. So this was a task for me to try and build this deck, but after playing with it a bunch of different times I really just enjoyed really just getting it out there and it also seemed to be a big threat once I started doing you know all my shenanigans with copying spells and countering spells really just made me out to be a decent threat especially when I started getting zombies out there I uh, was thinking of including a throne of the god pharaoh because rise from the tides and army of the dam do make tap tutus and throne of the god pharaoh will be a really good include because it deals damage equal to the number of tap creatures you control just a thought but before we get into just random thoughts let's get into the land base so we have a badlands a blood crypt a bajuka bog to clear them graveyards Cabal Coffers for the Mana Acceleration, City of Brass, Command Tower, Fubbled Passage, Field of Ruin, Gyre Reach Sanitarium, Gemstone Caverns, 
and I do have most of these basics in the art deco style or the art the full art treatment from New Capanna so it's a very on theme deck <clears throat> luxury suite maestro's theater you can't have a, a a maestro's deck a maestro's character creature without a maestro's theater where is he gonna call home morphic pool mountains polluted delta reliquary tower scalding tarn ship and reef steam vents a strip mine sulfur springs eight swamps a training center an underground river a underground sea Oh, Erborg, Volcanic Island, Watery Grave, and last but not least, Xander's Lounge, the Maestro's Three Color Land. <laughs> all in all, to me, this is a very solid list. Uh, if you want to, let's go on ahead and swap these around because I don't do a lot of, like... Woo. Yeah, the price tag for this deck is twenty four hundred dollars, but without the basic lands, it's twenty three ninety eight. And but uh, this is just my list. This is the list that I curated. A more streamlined, cheaper list definitely could be made. If y'all want me to try and make this on a lower lower budget, I would more than definitely would like to try and take the time to pull this down a couple notches but that is going to be it for today guys i really appreciate everybody that likes and subscribes that watches all my weird shorts and everything but that's going to be it for today and i will see you all got see all you guys next time in the graveyard <laughs>